Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the next video in the series of our family journey to visit all 198 of the Oregon State Parks. State Park number five is Silver Falls State Park. This is one that we have been wanting to visit as a family for quite some time, but either the weather or our health or the timing just wasn't right until just recently. And we were so excited to go there to do one of the really well-known hikes to see some waterfalls. And today I'm gonna to show you some of those waterfalls and some of the great views of Silver Falls State Park. Welcome to Investigating the Northwest. This channel is dedicated to exploring the beautiful, mysterious, haunted, and historical of the Pacific Northwest. During the warm weather, we like to get outside as much as possible. So right now we're exploring the beautiful nature of the Northwest. Silver Falls State Park is located about 24 miles east of Salem, Oregon. There are multiple hiking options available to see a variety of gorgeous waterfalls. There's even one loop that is nine miles that will allow you to see all 10 waterfalls in the park. But today we decided to do the shorter hike. This loop hike would take us by three of the 10 waterfalls. There is a little discrepancy about the length, the All Trails website and the state park maps both report this hike as 2.9 miles, but my Map My Walk app recorded it as 3.8 miles. And I know I've heard a lot about how All Trails isn't all that reliable when it comes to distance. I use my Map My Walk app all the time and it's really accurate. So I would say towards the four mile range, if you're planning to take this walk. We started the hike from the North Falls parking lot, but you can also start the hike from the Winter Falls parking lot. We chose North Falls because that is what all trails recommended. However, it is a very small parking lot and the parking pass kiosk at this time only took cash and it only took ones and fives, no larger bills. So some people had to leave and go to the Winter Falls parking lot because their kiosk accepted credit cards and larger bills as well. The beginning of the hike was a little confusing to us because there is a fork in the road right when you start the hike. However, whether you take the left or the right fork, you're still going to be completing the loop. So there's not really a wrong choice here. However, some people recommend choosing the left fork onto Rim Trail because they feel that seeing the waterfalls in a clockwise manner is more dramatic. However, we got confused. We started on the Canyon Trail side. We went counterclockwise and it was just as beautiful to us. We loved it. Now I'm gonna show you some of our favorite moments from this hike. We did film the entire hike and I will be posting a full complete hike video in the future, probably in a couple of days. This video just includes the highlights, but if you'd like to get a look at the entire hike to see if it's one you're interested in taking, the full hike video will be out soon. During the entire hike, you are surrounded by lush greenery and you can see here that the trail is a little wet and it wasn't raining today or that day. They do recommend that you wear shoes that can get wet or muddy, because even on a dry day, the trail does tend to get a little muddy. The, there's stairs on this hike. If you go in the counterclockwise direction like we did, we went down the stairs instead of up the stairs. The trail is very reasonable to walk on. There aren't any really high elevation changes.
And this was my first attempt at filming a full hike. Now I know in hindsight to try to keep my phone away from the front of the camera as much as possible. I will try to do better in the future. And here we are approaching the very first waterfall. This is North Fall and it is stunning. It is so gorgeous. And of course I stopped to take some TikTok film. There are some parts of the trails that you do have to duck under. If you're a taller person, this can be a little bit of a squeeze. You could see the mud here. It was no problem for my kids. And you get the wonderful sound of the waterfall through this entire approach as we're squeezing down this little trail. It may look a little tighter on the film, but it's it truly is really manageable for anyone, I would I would say. Not only is this waterfall really impressive to look at from the front, but you actually walk behind the waterfall in this big cave-like enclosure. And I could probably sit there and listen to it for an hour. It is just such a beautiful and amazing sight. But alas, we left the waterfall we kept walking and as you can see, just lush greenery, moss, trees. You're following a river the entire time. It's just so incredibly beautiful. The air is crisp and clean. The trail itself is not difficult. We had younger children with us and they were able to do this hike no problem. There are some areas in which there is a steep edge and no fence or guardrails. So of course, if you have kids, you'll want to keep them on the inside away from the edge. But this was what the hike was like the entire time. Gorgeous, green, fresh. The temperature was mild. It was only about 75 that day. You can see that I am passing a lot of hikers. It was a really popular hike on this day. I think we went on a Saturday. So this is not one in which you will be alone. And as you can see here, there are many opportunities to just go on up to the water. Here we stop to dip our feet in a little bit, cool off our toesies, wash off a little bit of the mud from the trail. It's so beautiful. The water was cold though. In all this nearly four mile hike took us about an hour and a half. We took it slowly. We stopped to take in the views. We stopped for snacks and rests. We really took this at a leisurely pace and it was really enjoyable. Again, you'll see the muddy trail Good thing we all wore hiking sandals. There's an abundance of water, creeks and streams. And we crossed over 
the river at one point when we were starting to turn to take the loop in the opposite direction. So we stopped to enjoy the view of the river a little bit. So beautiful. And here we are approaching the next waterfall. I believe this is Winter Falls. Twin Falls was in here somewhere, but I think I either didn't film it or we didn't notice it, I, or we didn't recognize it for what it was. However, this is North Falls. And at this point is when we start to climb up. We had stopped there to watch North Falls for several minutes and have a snack. Then we started walking back up the trail. If you're in driving distance from the Salem area, I highly recommend going on this hike if you just need to get outside and immerse yourself in water and greenery and the beauty of nature. And here we're, we're further up so you can see the view down is really impressive. And this is a feature of the trail that I really liked. Squeezing through some of the little trees. And now on to my personal ratings of this particular state park. Of course, the beauty is an A+. Ten waterfalls. And even at least one you can walk behind the entire walk is gorgeous. I It's breathtaking, absolutely. This park is kid-friendly. There were a lot of kids there on the trail. There was even a bus of kids from a local summer camp. When I was a kid, this is where our schools and summer camps would take us on day trips. Really accessible. It would really depend on a child's age and perseverance if they're able to do the nine mile hike, but the four mile hike is really accessible for them. As for the fees, there is a $5 per car day use parking permit fee. However, we have an annual pass that is $30 and we just hang the pass on our rear view mirror and we never have to worry or bother with the kiosks. It's really convenient. As for the facilities, they are good. However, at the particular parking lot that we chose, the kiosk only took cash in ones and fives. There was a really long line for the single bathroom that was there, and there was very limited parking at North Falls. However, I may feel different had we parked at Winter Falls parking lot. We might have had a different experience. Thank you so much for taking this tour of Silver Falls State Park with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this and that it piques your interest that maybe you'd be interested in visiting Silver Falls State Park yourself. And don't forget, if you're interested in learning about the mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, of exploring fascinating locations, discovering local legends, and seeing all the wonderful and beautiful places, please do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive an email when a new video is released. Thank you.